Hey there, my name is Scott. I'm a certified senior advisor and senior home safety specialist at Graying with Grace. This is the Harkin Atomic Talking Alarm Clock. This is a great product for seniors or the elderly who have trouble hearing their alarm clock and need a loud alarm clock or have difficulty managing the time on their current alarm clock. It's also good for people who have visual impairments that have difficulty seeing a clock because this clock will say the time for them. So inside the package, we get the clock itself, and then you get your setup and owner's manual, which has nice size print, nice and bold with some diagrams, so that makes it easy to set up and use. It does require two AA batteries, which go in here. Just push down this little latch to open the door, and then the batteries go in like this. All right, we've got power now. You can see it moving. This clock does receive signals from the atomic clock, so it will automatically set itself and keep it to the proper time. It has a talking function, which announces the date and time. Some things I like about this clock, it's got a nice big bold print, so it is easy to see if you're able to see visually, but it also has a talking function. It will say out loud the current time and temperature, the date, so you just press this talking button right here. The time is... 12:16 p.m. The temperature is 75 degrees. Today is Saturday, January 1st. That's your temperature inside your house. Got a big button here that tells you what the alarm is on or off and what time it is set for. Alarm 1 is 6 o'clock a.m. Alarm is off. And then you've got an on or off button here. Alarm alarm off that quickly can just turn your alarm on and off the back this chime button it can chime every hour on the hour if you'd like to have that function turned on or off Confirm. then this is your set button this is where you can set your alarm time when you press the button it'll walk you through how to set it pressing it once turns on your led light holding set it time. sets the time set year so that's the year, set, the set month, day. the day. And then how you choose them is these plus and minus buttons here to cycle through. Set time, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, p.m. 19 minutes, 20 minutes, 21 minutes. Set year, 23, set month. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, set day, set third, four, fifth, say, not have you left, while third, four, second, twenty, third, twenty, four, confirm, today is Sunday, September, twenty, four, five, twenty, one, p.m. So what I did there is I did go ahead and manually set the time which you can do, then it will catch up to the atomic clock the next time it's able to sync. So you don't have to worry about keeping it set from that time forward. Or you could just let it sit and within 24 hours, it will usually catch up to the atomic clock time. Then to set the alarm is a pretty simple procedure as well. This alarm button cycles you through your alarms one, two, three, four, and five. Confirm. Alarm two is eight o'clock a.m. Alarm. So it's pretty easy to set the alarms too. This is where you choose which alarm you want to set. You've got five different alarms to choose from. Alarm. So that tells you where it's currently set and what its status is. Currently it's off, so hit your on alarm. button. On. Then using the hour and minute buttons back here. 7 a.m. So let's say we're going to set it for 8 o'clock a.m. Alarm off. Confirm. Alarm 1 is 8 o'clock a.m. Alarm is off. Then you press your alarm button and it confirms verbally to you that it did reset the alarm for 8 a.m., but it's currently off. Then to turn the alarm on. Alarm 1 is 8 o'clock a.m. Alarm is off. So then you press this button to turn it on. Alarm on. And now alarm 1 is on and is set for 8 a.m. Confirm. Alarm 1 is 8 o'clock a.m. Alarm is on. It's got five different tones for the alarm as well. And you can press the on or off button to cycle through those.
then you just let go of it once you've chosen the sound you want to have. Or to increase and decrease the volume buttons of the alarms, you just use the plus and minus here. So that turns them up and down. So there's about seven different settings of volume, but they go anywhere from completely off to 100 decibels. And then finally, you can choose either a male or female voice if you have a preference. Just hold the talking button down for three seconds. 5.26 p.m. 5.27 p.m. That's also important for older adults with hearing difficulties. Some adults hear higher pitches better. Some older adults hear lower pitches better. So you can choose the male voice, which is a lower pitch, or the female voice, which is a higher pitch. So if you or a senior you love is having difficulty managing an alarm clock and cannot properly keep time on one, this has got a lot of advantages. That will help with that because the radio clock will help maintain the time. The procedures for setting the alarm, while it does require a couple different button presses, aren't super difficult. And that's a process that maybe even the caregivers can manage for them if necessary. And then visually, it's got the light for seeing at night, and then it's got a the nice dark print against the white background. Then, of course, they don't even have to look at it. They can just press the talking button and hear what the time and date are. So I hope this has been helpful. If so, please like or share this video on your favorite social media. And for more content like this for seniors and the elderly, I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to the channel. Until next time, wishing you safety and happiness from Graying with Grace.